Hey, it's Debbie. I'm the founder of Goldie Blocks. I'm a toy inventor and an engineer, and you're watching Cool Tools, where I'm gonna show you the tools that I use every day to invent toys. An engineer comes up with solutions to problems and builds them. I engineer toys, which is really fun, and my cool tools are common household objects. Ribbon, thread spools, Velcro, wooden dowels, just basic supplies from the arts and crafts room. Prototyping is the process that engineers use to come up with models of their ideas. When you're trying to solve a big problem, you're not gonna know the answer right away. You take an idea, you mock it up, you test it, until finally you have your final design. This is where I sketched all of my original ideas for Goldie Blocks. This sketchbook enabled me to put all the ideas that were in my head on paper. When I was prototyping the very first toy for Goldie Blocks, I didn't have a lot of money. I just used materials I found around the house. Hang on a second, I have a crying baby I have to go get. This is Oscar. Now I'm gonna show you my very first Goldie Blocks toy prototype that I made with just common household objects. So here was the first piece. I figured out a, a grid that I wanted, drilled all these holes myself. I also did use wooden dowels and I knew that I wanted these to be axles so I could teach the concept of wheel and axle. The holes in the pegboard would just snugly fit these wooden dowels. This was a thread <laughs> spool. Oh, is it funny? <laughs> I cut off all of the thread so I could just have the wheel shape of the thread spool. I actually glued Velcro to it. These thread spools were the perfect size to fit on the wooden dowels. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and that created a wheel and axle and I could also use it to show pulleys. Ribbon was another part of my original prototyping. I glued uh, Velcro to the ribbon so that I could attach it to the wheel. This enabled me to actually yeah, roll onto the wheel so that I could pull the ribbon and make it spin. For my very first toy, I wanted to create a, um, a machine called a belt drive. Belt drives are actually used in a lot of complicated engineering mechanisms, including cars. I thought, wouldn't it be fun if, if maybe the purpose of the belt drive, maybe we would have a story about a bunch of characters that wanted to be spun around. One of those characters I decided uh, I wanted to make a bear. I just used basic modeling clay. This is the plot is his name and uh, a little uh, polar bear. So from all these common household objects, I was able to engineer a final toy that won the Toy Industries Toy of the Year Award. My last piece of advice for any kid who is thinking about engineering, don't be intimidated. Engineering can be hard, but guess what? The best part about engineering is that in order to be a really good engineer, it's okay to mess up because that's how you learn. I have made so many mistakes, now I just laugh it off and it's fun. For more fun videos, click here. Send us your questions on Instagram to have them featured in a future campisode.